In this video, we will talk about switch statements in Java. A switch statement is a type of control flow statement, just like an if statement. It allows your program to choose a path to take using some kind of decision-making system. With if statements, the program decides on a path to take based on whether or not a given condition is true. With switch statements, decisions are made by trying to find a match against a certain expression. Although these two types of statements are different, you can sometimes convert an if to a switch and vice versa. So before we begin, let's take a look at this example of a chain of if statements. We have a variable called month that stores an integer. If the value of month is equal to 1, then we print January. If the value of month is equal to 2, then we print February. And that goes all the way down to December. So in this example, we will end up printing April because the value of month right now is 4. This chain of if statements is an example of one that can be converted into a switch statement. Let's take a look at how to do that. You start a switch statement using the switch keyword. Okay, but first let's go ahead and um, declare a variable called month. Let's give it a value of 4. So you start a switch statement with the switch keyword. It is then followed by parentheses that contain a variable or some other expression. In this example, let's use month. We then add curly braces to define the switch statement's body, also known as a switch block. A switch block is made up of different cases which lead to different paths of execution. To create a case, you use the case keyword followed by a value. This value can be an integer, a byte, a short, a character, or a string. This value is used to uniquely label the case. You cannot have cases that have the same value. And then you follow this value with a colon, and then after that, you type in the statements that you want the program to execute for that particular case. Let's go ahead and create our first case. Let's give this a value of 1. So we write case 1 colon and then for the statement to execute let's make it print out January system.out.println January You can add more statements if you'd like, but for this example, we just need this one statement to print out the name of the month for each case, and then after that, we add a break statement. I'll explain why we need a break statement later. Next, let's create the case that prints out February. Type case to colon and then system dot out dot print line February. And then break. And then let's continue writing all the cases for the other months of the year. So now our switch case is complete. So how exactly does this work? First, the switch statement evaluates the expression inside the parentheses. So in this case, month evaluates to four. And then it looks through the cases starting from the top. If it finds a case with a matching value, then it executes that statements that fall under that case. So here, 1 is not a match because month is equal to 4, so we skip this case. 2 is not a match either. 3 is also not a match. 
And then we get to case four where we do find a match. So this case gets executed and our program will print April in the output. So let's test that out. And we do in fact get April. If we change the value of month to seven, then it will execute case seven and print out July instead. Now, what happens if we remove the break statement here? If we do that, this will cause the switch block to fall through. What that means is the matching case will be executed and then the succeeding case will also be executed. So now when we run this, case seven will be executed followed by case eight. So when we test this out, it will print July and August. If we remove the break statements in the rest of the cases, then our switch block will fall through all the way to the end. So now if we run this, it will output July all the way to December. Omitting the break statement isn't necessarily an error because in some cases you may actually want the switch block to fall through. It just really depends on what it is that you're trying to do with the program. But for this one, let's go ahead and put back all of the break statements. Now, what if we change the value of month to 13? Because there is no case here that matches the value of 13, then nothing gets printed out. But then what if we also wanted our switch block to do something in case none of the cases match the expression? To do that, we add a default case. At the end of the block, we just type in default followed by a colon. And then the statements that we want to execute. Let's just say system.out.println the value of month is invalid. And then break. So now if the value of month is not in the 1 to 12 range, then the switch block defaults to this. Let's test that out. And here we have the expected output. The break here at the end is not really necessary since there's no other case after that, but it's a good practice to keep that in there in case you need to modify your code later on.